Same. Hi, everyone. We're here today. Yeah, I'm looking forward to doing the cherry blossom painting with you. So let me just click one more button and then we can get started. So I'm excited that you're joining me today. Thank you, first of all, the Capital Blue Cross Connect Health and Wellness for doing this program with us because uh, it's such a great way to get creative and paint together. And I'm looking forward to doing our cherry blossom painting today. So um, if you hear some noises in the background, we're getting some work done on the house and um, they are standing right outside where I'm filming this. So <laughs> just ignore it. All right, so what we're gonna do today is cherry blossoms. We're gonna do branches of the cherry blossoms. If you've ever seen Van Gogh's almond blossom painting, you might wanna look that up. It's my inspiration for, for this painting. It's gonna be the branches. It's almost like we're, we're like a little bird sitting in a tree looking at the branches, the cherry blossoms. And at this time of year, they're just so beautiful. They're in full bloom. They're starting to fall down just a little bit onto the ground. And to me, it's just the most beautiful sight, just all those beautiful colors. So I thought that we could do a painting that was inspired by Van Gogh's almond blossoms, but that brings in the cherry blossoms with the pinks and the reds. A little tiny bit of yellow in between. So um, we are going to have a lot of fun. We're going to be creating a lot of beauty today. And as always, you're the artist. So if you want to change anything as we go through this, feel free to change it. Starting with the background color. When we go to do the cherry blossom painting, step one of the painting is going to be the background color. I am going to be using ultramarine blue. So it is like a purplish blue color and I'm gonna be mixing it with a little bit of white. And I don't know, you can see the white on my plate right there. I have a lot of paint on my plate today just because I was not paying attention and it was just pouring out. <laughs> you do not need that much brown. That is a lot of brown. You only need about a quarter size of paint. I'm using acrylic paint and the colors that I have for, for today are, are these. So I have blue for the background. So if you want a different color for the background, you wanna put a generous amount on your plate of the background color. So blue for the background, I'm gonna be mixing that with white. I have brown and black for the branches. I'm gonna be using that for the branches. I have this dark green. It's actually a student line of, of acrylics, okay? It's called phthalo green, but um, it's a really deep like jade green. So that's the green I'm gonna be using. I might mix it with a little bit of yellow and it'll make it more like a lime green color. So I have yellow because in the center of a cherry blossom are those like little, little buds. So I'm going to put some yellow in the middle or maybe some orange. I might mix some yellow and red. And then this is a red color. It's red with like a pinkish kind of tinge to it. Some reds have like an orange kind of tint to it. So this is, um, it'll turn pink when I mix it with white. So these are the colors that we have today. This is acrylic paint. You can use anything you have at home to do this, okay? Because it'll look different in any medium you choose. So just have fun with it. Um, I cannot see you at home, but I can see your questions. So if you have any questions or comments and you wanna you know, type it in or chat, or I guess not chat it in, that would be talking, but um, type it in. I can see it on the chat screen here. So if you see my eyes going to the right, um, it's to look at your messages that are coming in, which I love. So I'm just gonna show you on a piece of scrap paper how we're gonna be doing this first. This is this is a little different than um, the other sessions that we do where I kind of lay out exactly what we're going to be painting. This is more free form because we build the branches and then we put the cherry blossoms on. Good morning. So, um, I am going to show you how I'm gonna do the steps and then we'll get into the painting part because this painting for me is, is really creative and really relaxing and really therapeutic as you start to get into it. So our first step, like I said, is we're going to be doing the background. So the whole background is gonna be painted. I am going to be holding my painting vertically just so I get some long branches here. If you wanna hold it horizontally, if it's better, if you're thinking of hanging it somewhere and better for your space, it's gonna work either way. After we get the background color um, put on there, we're gonna take brown and maybe put a little bit of black in it. My brown that I have is really light. It's like a, you know, like a Hershey's chocolate bar kind of brown. So I might make it just a little bit darker with a little bit of black. So that's why I'm adding the black. If you like the brown, um, 
that you have, you can just use that. So we're going to start with branches. Now, cherry blossom branches are not just straight, right? They're, they're kind of crooked and bent. So this is a marker. So this is gonna look a little straighter than it does with the paintbrush, but I'm gonna be taking branches and I'm gonna be making them into Ys. They're gonna be a lot thicker like, they're gonna be a lot thicker than this. Okay, so if you can imagine, I'm taking my brown and black on my paintbrush and I'm going across and I'm going to have them maybe one longer than the other. So the branches are going to form Ys. Each branch is gonna be a Y. From one of the arms of the Y, I'm gonna be doing another Y. All of these branches are where the cherry blossoms come off of. So um, I want a nice, kind of network of branches and you want some just kind of like crisscross each other. Okay. So I'm going to put one up here. I'm probably going to put one coming across this way. Just so I get that, you know, center kind of full with branches and blossoms more wise. And once again, with my paintbrush, it's gonna be a little thicker. I'm gonna have one come up here. Okay, so setting up the branches is important because you don't, the one time I did this painting and I did a branch here, a branch here, and a branch here, it looked totally silly because it was just all so lopsided. So I wanna make sure that I have branches, like I said, like we're sitting in the tree, coming from all different angles, maybe one tiny one up here, coming down and then maybe a tiny Y because each branch is gonna have a cherry blossom off of it or a few cherry blossoms. And then let's put one more down here. And this one's gonna be a long Y. It's gonna go down to the bottom. I'll have another Y coming off just so I get a lot of different places to put my cherry blossoms. But I also have some space in there where you can see the background color. After we get the branches done, We'll let it dry. And then what we're gonna do, it's a couple steps for the cherry blossom. So I'm gonna use my paintbrush for a minute just to show you how we're gonna do it. And then we'll go back and, and work on it. So I'm gonna use a paintbrush that looks like this. It's gonna be round, but flat at the top. And I'm gonna mix a little bit of red and white. So the red and white, of course, you know this, make pink makes pink, sorry. And um, what I'm gonna do is for my first step for my cherry blossom, really lightly, I'm gonna have my paintbrush have hardly any paint on it right now. It has pretty much paint on it, but um, I'm just gonna rub some of this right off the branches. So I'm just gonna go around and rub on the branches. They're gonna come off the branches, okay? Until my paintbrush becomes completely empty of that red and white. So it's just like little swirls of paint for my first step all over. I'm gonna do a lot more than this. Then I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna fill all these branches with this blobs of pink and white. I'm gonna wash off my brush. I'm gonna dry it off. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put with a clean brush, I'm gonna put a little bit of green into the mix. So I'm gonna take my green that I'm, I have on my plate, it's green and white. Now this is really bright, okay? So um, I need it bright for the, for the camera, but you might want it a little lighter. So I'm just adding some green to all the branches before I really go back. And look, it's just a little like swipe of a color, okay? So I have that on, I have the green. So when the next step comes, the green will pop out from behind it. So the final step for the, no, not the final step. What am I talking about? There's like three, four more steps. <laughs> All right. So the next step after this dries, we have the pink and the white really close to the branch. I'm going to take just a little bit of white on my paintbrush. And I'm just going to put some blossoms on top of that. Now the cherry blossoms are about four petals. One, two, three, four. So those little blobs of pink kind of pop out in the background and then those petals are in the foreground. So I'm going to dip in the white and of course you can make these pink instead of white if you want it like more of a pink color. And this is really going to show up on my blue background. It's going to be four petals. So when I go to do the petals, they're actually, let me do it in red so you can see what I'm doing. 
I'm taking my paintbrush, the same one, okay? And it's gonna be four petals. I press the paintbrush down one petal, then I take it here, two petals, then I flip it over to the other side to use the paint there, three petals, four petals. Okay, so it's four petals all smooshed together there. And I'm gonna do them in white. Of course, a little bit of pink will come through because we have that in the background. We might have some still on our brush. And then after we get those petals in and these branches looking really full, what we're gonna do is you're gonna take a smaller brush. Okay, smaller brush, wash it off and dry it off. I'm gonna move my, my water cup here so that I'm not sticking my arm in, in your face the whole time. Like paint with me, paint with me. I just have my elbow in your face. All right, so in the middle of the cherry blossoms, it's usually like a little bit of like some yellow. I've seen some that are orange. So you can mix yellow and red together if you want. I have a really bright yellow here, so I'm gonna use that. And we're just gonna put little dots of yellow in the middle, just a tiny bit, okay, a tiny bit. And then after this all dries, it's almost dry. We're gonna take a little bit of a paper towel, which of course I forgot to grab. So I'm just gonna use a little cloth here that I have. We're gonna take a paper towel though. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna kind of blot the white around it. And it'll really show up on a blue background because those cherry blossoms have a lot of like that just burst of, of um, I don't even know what it is, blossoms coming out of them. So, and it goes through the air. Okay, so when this blue background shows up, it's really gonna look beautiful because we will have um, made the effect of them like opening up and just spreading throughout the air. And they, and they are really light and airy. So I wanna give that effect. So it looks a little different because we don't have the branches painted and we don't have the background on, but that's how the painting's gonna go. So I'm gonna put this on, um, first draft down and I'm going to pick up my canvas. My canvas is, this is a nine by 12 canvas. Okay. So our first step once again, is we're going to paint the background. The whole background wants to be um, a color. You can choose whatever color you want for your background. I think blue looks um, really nice, like a really soft blue, just because, you know, it emulates the sky, but whatever you want to do in the background is fine with me. And plus Van Gogh's Almond Blossoms were in, were in blue, and that's one of my favorite paintings. So that's why I'm choosing blue to do that. So um, I've seen this before with like an ivory color in the background and it looks so pretty with those pink cherry blossoms. So if you wanna do like an ivory or whatever color you want. So I'm gonna take a bigger brush, looks like this little, little fatter at the top, little wider, it's a little more, little more gusto. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna paint the whole background blue. I am going to roll my sleeves up because if I get paint on me, I usually get it all over my arms. So, well, let's be honest. I get it in my hair, I get it under my neck, I get it in my ear. <laughs> I don't know what I do when I start painting, painting, but I go wild. All right, so this is the ultramarine blue. Now you can mix the paint if you want it lighter before you start, but I like to mix it on the canvas. So what I mean by that is I'll start painting the canvas. See how it's nice, bright, bluish purple. And while the paint's wet, I'll just take a little bit of white and I'll mix it into it. So I'm gonna have like a lighter blue. I'm just going back and forth with this. This is your sky color. This is what you see if you're a little bird sitting on the branches in this cherry blossom tree. So you just spread out that paint. I'm doing nice horizontal brush strokes, but you can do it however you want. If you have a different way to do your brush strokes, I've seen people do the brush strokes like this, like almost like little commas. And they've, you know, they've been consistent with that across the whole, the whole canvas. So whatever your brush stroke is, that's what you should do. So I like to put the dark blue on and then go lighter with the white. Okay, blue and white. And this bright blue looks really pretty in the background also. So here we go. And we're getting some nice spring weather finally. Finally, it's not freezing cold. 
it's normal spring weather, right? <laughs> I don't have to wear a hat and mittens today <laughs> or warm my car up before I get in it. So that's good. All right, so here we go. All the way to the bottom. And if you have a canvas like I do, you want to take your paintbrush, you know, you don't, I like personally to take my paint around the sides of the canvas. I just think it gives it a more finished look. Just like that, okay? So if you just take it around all the sides and up at the top, I'd love to know what some of your favorite paintings are. So I, I, like I said, the Almond Blossoms by Van Gogh is one of my favorites. And he, I know he did a whole bunch of Almond Blossom paintings, but um, I like the one where it's just the branches. So I'm, I'm just curious, what, what are your favorite paintings or your favorite artists? I would, I would love to know. Plus a lot of times, um, some of you mention artists and I'm like, oh, I never heard of them. I'm gonna look them up. So it's actually, it teaches me too. So if you feel like sharing who your favorite artists are, I'm sure we'd all love to hear it. Cause I think the chat's going to everyone if you chat it. So that would be, that would be amazing. We can learn about some new artists today. Okay, so our first step, I'm just gonna take a sip really quick. Our first step is that background. So I don't want you to rush. For, through this, I want you to take your time, have fun doing this. Capital Blue is actually recording this session and they've been recording the last, the last few sessions. It's on their YouTube page. So if you go to their YouTube page um, and just look up Capital Blue Cross and go click videos, under videos, you'll see the videos that we've been doing. This might take a day or two to upload, but it'll be on there. So don't rush because if you don't get it done in the time that we've allotted, you can go back and you know stop the recording, watch it later, and there's no rush for it. So um, our first step then is this background color. And if you chose a different background color, I'd love to know that too, like what, what colors you're, you're using for the background. Okay, so now, now that I've used my big brush, I've covered my background and it's pretty, well, this part's a little, a little wet. I would encourage you to wait till it's dry. So I'm gonna wait like two more seconds. <laughs> Just two more seconds so I can get the show on the road. But what I'm gonna do is I am gonna do the branches next. So I'm going to grab my paintbrush that I used to put the green in before. Okay, so it's a little bit thinner, but not too thin. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab brown with a little bit of black on it. So I'm going to take brown. Now, black is really powerful. So you don't want to use too much of it. You just want a tiny little dip in it or you're going to get totally black branches. So what I recommend too is why don't you put a brown branch on, see how you like it. If you want it a little darker, just put a little black in it. So you might just say, hey, I like the, I like the brown look. I don't want, I don't want it too, um, too dark. So I'm going to take my paintbrush. Remember to have a really light hold on your paintbrush. You don't want to grip it because if you grip it, you're going to get a really rigid thick line. You just want to like hold it really lightly. Okay. And almost like have it dance across the page. So I'm going to start on this side. Okay. And I'm going to just take my paintbrush and just watch my paintbrush for a minute. I'm just going to kind of twist it. Okay, and then I'll just have it come down just for a Y. I just want to show you something really quick though. So I want you to, I want you to um, look at, just watch my paintbrush as we're doing this. Because what I'm gonna do is a lot of people are interested in how to get your line thinner at the end. Because a lot of times when you go to, now, first of all, I've been painting for a long time. So it was also practice. So if you practice it like on a piece of scrap paper, it's gonna be a lot easier to make your branches thinner at the end than just going right to the canvas. So I recommend just taking a piece of scrap paper and just doing what I'm gonna show you right now. So I'm gonna take my paintbrush, okay, right here, making that Y. I'm gonna pull it. I have, a, I have pretty much paint on my brush. Twist it every once in a while. I twist it and then pull it up really quick. 
Okay, so let me do that again. I'm gonna make another Y. Let's put a little black in here this time. So I'm gonna take my paintbrush. I have the point right at the branch. I'm gonna take it down. I'm gonna twist it and pull it and lift it up. Okay, so you take your paintbrush from the point, twist it and then lift it up. Like, whoop, twist it whoop, and lift it up. Twist it and lift it up. So in your hand, you're gonna twist it and then lift it up. And that will allow that little point to happen and it won't be like a blob at the end. So a lot of people get frustrated because they go to do a branch and it's like this, okay? If you take your paintbrush and just roll it and pick it up, you're gonna have a thinner line at the end. All right, so what we're gonna do is, I have a couple of Y's here. We're gonna build the branches for a couple minutes. You also, um, I know I'm saying all the things you don't wanna do because these are all the things that I've done that I know didn't work. <laughs> so what you don't wanna do is you don't wanna have just straight branches going across, right? You want them to look like they're kind of crisscrossing each other, leaning on each other. Cause in nature, a branch doesn't stop because another branch is there. It's not like, oh, you're there. All right, well, I'm gonna go this way. No, it just goes right on top of it. So I want you to kind of emulate nature and just, you know, take your branch up, do a couple of Y's. The Y's should not all be the same length either. You see that Y, we have one long part of it and one short part of it that gives it a nicer a nicer feel so over here i'm going to start my next branch i'm going to kind of take it down towards the middle twist it pull it up all right and you see how it went right in front of that other one i'm making a y and i'm going to put a couple more branches coming off of that so start with a basic y and then just build from there okay brown and black. Now these are pretty even, right? So I just want to like make that just a little bit different. I don't want them all to be the same. And I think I'm going to put another branch up here. So just kind of lay out where you're going to put your branches. Cause remember each branch is going to get cherry blossoms on it. Quite a few. All right. This one looks a little like straight up here. So I'm going to maybe add another one coming off the canvas right there. Okay, I'm gonna put one down here. It's gonna come up from the corner and up. So I'm gonna start here, just roll that line up, make a Y. I'm gonna start adding other Ys to it. Okay, and you can always start with a thinner line, like a smaller brush, and then always make it thicker. All right, it's really hard to go from thick to thin, but it's a lot easier to go from thin to thick. All right, so I have quite a few branches on here now. You should let that dry. I am gonna let it dry for like maybe a second. <laughs> so my branches, my, my blossoms might have a little brown in it, but if you don't want that, then I would just wait and just wait. Just wait, just wait. So I'm gonna take a sip of my coffee till it dries. I made some decaf coffee before we start it and I put some coconut milk in it. It tastes pretty good. Of course, it, of course it's um, cold. Every time I drink my coffee or my tea, it's cold. <laughs> so um, now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take that bigger brush and I'm gonna start doing blossoms. So I have to get it really washed off and dried off. And this is when we do those little blobs of paint that'll fall in the background behind the blossoms. Okay, so I'm taking a mixture of red and white. It's a really pretty, you know, reddish white color, pink. And I'm gonna start on each branch, just putting a few blobs of this pink and white. And this is just to lay out where my, where my blossoms are gonna go. I'm not just gonna do one on each, and look, you don't want just one on the, the branch, take it off the branch too, okay? Have it come off the branch just a little bit. You don't want them all in a line. I've seen people do this where they have like blob, blob, blob. Yeah, that's great, 
but you want it to be just have a little bit more movement maybe. So just make that blob, you know, come out a little bigger, maybe have this one come down a little more. Don't have them all so much in a line. So this is the coloring that goes behind our white blossoms when we go to make it. Now I love cherry blossoms. So I'm gonna make quite a few of these and I'm gonna get my, my branches really, really full. So this is just red and white. I'm just pressing it around. Some of these blossoms will be more red than white. Some will have more pink in it. So that's, you know, I, that's the beauty of um, just putting it on your paintbrush. Like I have red and white on my paintbrush. And as I press it into the canvas, watch red, white. So I didn't really mix it. I just have it on here, red and white. I double dipped. And as I press my paintbrush in, each little blob looks a little different, okay? Some are more red, some are more pink, some are more brown, because I didn't wait. Um, but you just, you know, it's, it's nice to have like a little bit of a free spirit and just kind of go for it, okay? Go off the branches a little bit. So you're just, this is one of the first steps to making the cherry blossoms. We put actual blossoms in, but we just wanna do this first before we put the blossoms in. And I'm gonna do my blossoms in white. Now, if you wanna do a lot of pink blossoms, go for it. Instead of white, or if you wanna do a combination of pink and white, go for it. This is your painting. And see this step right here, I find really relaxing when I go to paint cherry blossoms, like just the color combinations of the pink and the white and seeing how when you press down your paintbrush, it comes out differently each time. I find that really just, I don't know, like happiness. <laughs> so I don't want you to rush this and try to get through it because the video is, you know, goes off in a little bit. I want you to just enjoy it and maybe watch the recording later. Okay, so this is my blob canvas. So I have all these blobs on here. I'm gonna let them dry for a couple of minutes. And what I'm gonna do while they're drying is I'm gonna put green in the background. The green is not gonna be really, um, you know, in the forefront, you're not gonna see it unless you look a little bit. And I think that's the beauty of building a painting because each time you look at it, you might see something a little different. So you might not see the green the first time, but the second time you look at it or the third time you look at it, you might see it. So I'm mixing green with brown this time just to get like a darker green color. So I'm just gonna press some green. And these are just, this is still just little blobs of color. Okay, I'm just pressing green near the blossoms in between them, not too much, just like little dots of it. Just so I get some green in there, some little hints of green. Now green and red together will make like a brown color. It's not so pretty. So um, you wanna wait till your red's a little dry before you do this step, okay? So just little, Blobs of green. This is a very impressionistic painting today. Okay, it's the impressions of cherry blossoms. We're not actually painting like realistic cherry blossoms, but to me, this is one of my favorite ways of painting because it's relaxing. I don't have to make anything look real, but I can um, really have fun with having the colors make it look like an object. Okay, so these are what it, this is what it looks like for the first steps. And now the next step is you're going to wait till it's dry. It doesn't have to be 100% dry. It should be pretty dry so that you can get these white blossoms on and just have a little bit of the pink showing through. Every once in a while, one of your red pieces might be a little wet and it'll look cool to have that hit the white the white petals and get a little burst of white in there, but you don't want them so wet that they're just all gonna turn back to red, okay? So I'm gonna take white on my paintbrush that I've been using for the blossoms to make the blobs, and I'm just gonna take it and I'm gonna put blossoms, four petals on each little section. So one, two, three, four. Still looks like a blob, I know, I know. But if you, you know, you're just gonna take it one, two, three, 
four. One, two, three, four, just four little petals. So basically what you wanna do is you just wanna layer these pink and white colors like on top of those little blobs we made, okay? And you can see my paint is still really wet. So as I do the white on top, it's turning the blossoms pink, which is totally fine with me. I just wanna make sure I don't hit any green because then I'll have green blossoms and I, I don't want that. So the green will just peek out from the background, okay? You don't have to use a lot of paint. I'm using more than, than I should, just so you can see it at home. But just take your paintbrush, push it down, pick it up, push it down, pick it up, push it down, pick it up, just four petals, okay? And if you wanna keep it really bright red or bright pink, you can just do this next layer with the bright pink or the bright red. One, two, three, four. Okay, two, three, four. If you have more than four petals, don't worry about that either. Maybe you have less than, less than four. You can make some of these smaller, like you can do really tiny ones, like a really tiny one, and then you could do a bigger one. So you can play around with the size of it too, not just the colors, but you can play around with the size. Here's a smaller one. I'll just put a few smaller ones in there. Okay, one, two, three, four. Four. So you keep going up. You see how it's getting fuller and fuller, okay? And you can make this as full as you want. You don't have to, you know, do it just like mine. I think, you know, I really like when you put different sizes in it. I think that really adds to it because it's, it's like, you know, an explosion of color here, but it also, the sizes just add a little something to it. If you have some tiny ones and some big ones, it's really cool. All right, so this is the kind of painting where when you're up front and you're painting it, you're like, what, what, it's all a bunch of blobs. But when you step back from it, you're like, oh, it looks so nice. So um, take a break from your painting and you know, step back and appreciate it because you'll see all the blossoms that you've made come to life. So let me get these up here. And look, I mean, I'm doing four petals sometimes. Sometimes I'm just putting petals on, like whatever, okay? Because it gets a little tedious to be one, two, three, four. That just gives you a basic guideline for doing it. So now what I'm gonna do is I, um, I wanna show that really close. You see how much paint I put on? You see the petals and they're all on top of each other, okay? Really full. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that smaller brush and I'm gonna put the centers on. Now, once you get these blossoms on, we work kind of fast to do the centers and to do like the little blobbing of the paper towel. So you get that effect of it kind of like bursting open. Now, I've also seen some cherry blossoms with some little like tiny black dots in between, like tiny black. So if you wanna put some tiny black ones in there, you can. I am going to use, I'll put a few black ones in there because I think they do have like tiny, tiny blacks. My paintbrush is a little, a little big for this step. I think you should even go tinier. If you don't have a tiny paintbrush, what about a Q-tip? You could use a Q-tip to do it, but you can see by putting these little dots in the center, it no longer looks like blobs, right? It's starting to look like flowers. So I'm going to wash off that black and now I'm going to do a little yellowish orange. So I'm mixing my yellow and my red. Yellow, red to get orange. Okay. And I'm just going to put a few dots of orange in there. So just a few dots of like another color. Green will work. I think yellow looks really pretty. I think this yellowish orange looks pretty. Okay, I just want a few dots, some few centers of color. Nice. So you can use a Q-tip, you can use um, the bottom of your paintbrush. You can always use the bottom if you want. Okay, now I am going to, let me just get a paper towel really quick while you work on the blossoms, just so I can show you the next part. 
because it really does work better with a paper towel than like a cloth, okay? Because the paper towel has a little bit of texture in it. So what we're gonna do then is you're gonna just take a small piece of the paper towel, just a small piece, okay? All right, and now if your paint happens to be really dry at this point, you might wanna take a little bit of white paint and dip the paintbrush in there or the paper cloth in there. So I'm just taking a little bit of a paper towel, bunching it up. My white is still really wet. So really gently, I'm just gonna kind of take my paintbrush. <laughs> I keep calling this a paintbrush, <laughs> a paper towel. And I'm going to just like put a few blobs of really lightly, just so it looks like these cherry blossoms are opening up those beautiful, like, well, for allergy sufferers, I think this is what you dread, right? These little white, like, burst of, of blossoms spreading through the air. So I'm just taking a little bit. If mine are really, really wet, I would wait. And I'm just putting little dabs of paint, taking the paint around just to make it look like these cherry blossoms are opening up and coming out. Now we put, we did put black in some of the centers and we did put orange. So you wanna really watch that you don't get that black and that um, orange on this paper towel because then you'll have that coming all around your canvas. So now that my paint is a little bit dry, I'm gonna need to add some white, or some pink to my paper towel. And I'm just adding some of those bursts of blossoms around each of my bunches of cherry blossoms. Okay, so you can even add more over here. And I just think that is like a really nice effect. for your cherry blossoms. And you see how it looks like they're, they're blooming. Okay, so I wanna show you this really close up so you can get a look. Those are the steps for the cherry blossom painting. Okay, is everyone doing good with this? Does everyone have, does anyone have any questions about anything on here, how to do the branches, how to do the cherry blossoms, the colors. So it's really nice to get a variety of colors in there. And that's why we layer it. So we do a first layer of a darker color. And I think you know this from my other classes that I like to go from dark to light. So I'll start with a darker color or a brighter color, like the pink and the red, and then we'll build it up and the white will be on top. And when the white's on top, it kind of brightens up the whole thing. So we're going to go back and then you're going to put the little centers on and then you'll go back with the paper towel and kind of blot it out just a little. You see, you still see the blossoms, but you see a little bit of that blotting action going on. So it looks like they're really like bursting open. Okay. All right. So then of course, your last step, you want to sign your cherry blossom painting. Okay. You want to put your artist signature on it. You put the date on it. It's May 2nd. And then um, I'm looking at my paper next week. I'm not here because it's my birthday. So I'm, I'm going to be celebrating my birthday, but on, on the 16th, we're back. So we'll be doing palm trees, but palm trees in silhouette. So it'll be, you know, a nice, nice tropical sky and we'll put the palm trees in silhouette because I'm going to be like in beach summer mode coming up. <laughs> we're getting there. So the 16th, we're doing palm trees in silhouette and I hope you can join me. And 
If you're missing any of the steps, this will be on Capital Blue Cross's YouTube page and you can look it up at Cherry Blossom Painting, give them a day or two to upload it. But there's other paintings, um, painting tutorials on there and also lots of health and wellness videos too. It's worth checking out. So I hope you guys had a great, oh, thanks, thank you. I hope you guys had a great um, time painting. And if you wanna share these with me, I'm at Rowie Ebert Art on Facebook and Instagram. And of course, I'd love to see them. Like I love seeing, I love seeing your paintings. Um, thanks for joining me. Thank you so much, Capital Blue Cross Connect Health and Wellness. And I will see you on the 16th. Happy painting. Bye everyone.